Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Heike and we're playing Impossible Iron Man difficulty and we are um, having the hardcore mod enabled, so hardest difficulty, only one save game and you cannot um, lose a single mission. It's time for Secret Stash, uh, one of our uh, new missions. For 60 intel, 15 alerio, maybe another bit of intel on top of it and most and for, uh, more, uh, foremost uh, unrest management. So much intel out of it, by the way. Might as well reconsider to actually upgrade uh, this one here to rank three. Because we will get a lot of intel and I absolutely love that two thirds of the city are now upgraded to rank three. And we're not even done with chapter two. Good. Our team has a bit more equipment now. We're looking um, at pretty decent um, armor. Uh, what's missing is most like uh, most often uh, the mods for the weapons and of course uh, the masterwork uh, weapons that we're now starting to research. Everyone uh, got a variety of grenades ammunition, but. Most certainly our nano mat kits. I uh, bought a couple of um, mat patches as breach items, as well as um, a target analyzer, which is a great breach item. So for the breach, we should actually be fine, even for longer missions. Uh, today, we are only having one encounter, so it's going to be straightforward. Let's jump right into it. Guarding contraband. Snag it and leave. Well, that's easy enough. Last unit is marked until the end of the encounter. Well, that is unfortunate for the last unit. We're going to better Rem, and he's going to instill fear in everyone. If we would, would go first, no, that's not possible, okay. There we go, target analyzer. Not sure why we can't select it. I mean, I'm clear why we can't select the med kit, right? Oh, and finally we can. You just need to click multiple times on it and it... Well, I don't know about the programming here, guys. You just keep hammering it and all of a sudden it allows you to do it. Okay, whatever. Good, the target analyzer is cool, we can always use it, and it just makes the encounter so much easier. An adder, a surprised one, a paladin. We got a Praetorian, that's something for our uh, Viper Torque is going to tangle with him. A Bruiser, a Dominator, this is a guy we need to kill. A Berserk, and a Necromancer, who is the backup guy. Uh, we start with a Dominator. Holy shit! Seven points of damage. Well, that is good. I like it. Taking out the adder. Have we really just killed the guy with one shot? No, we did not. I was about to say. Uh uh, not so easy. I want to make sure that everyone's disoriented because I have absolutely no interest in psionic shenanigans. And that's the Dominator gone. Let's put it this way. It's pretty, pretty massive entrance that we that we have.
All right, let's pull up torque. Okay, we're starting pretty solid. Moving in so that we get closer to the actual target. The party. By the way, that could have stunned. It did not, unfortunately. Moving over, we're focusing uh, entirely on the Praetorian. You, come here. Just go to sleep. Nice little squeeze. How can he summon spectral zombies when being completely disoriented? Can only imagine it does not count as a psionic ability. Because if it would, this would be a no no. Hey, how about we. No, how about not? What well, I mean, what we could do is the following, right? One over here. Free grenade. Just to keep it real. And what we're going to do is we're setting up the Berserk. Pushing him down in the agenda. Time to get the item, and time to get out of here. Good, so what we can do now is this. I could detonate that shrapnel. Plus this. Plasma out. That's everyone dead. Just dead. <laughs> okay, well, reinforcements are on the way. The fun is over. Okay, so release the bind. Yes. Enough of that. Moving over here. Covering ground. Again, yes. Careful. Tongue pull to get shelter. Thank you. Little dizzy. And get out of here. The Praetorian can only hit once, and that's about it. Yeah. Nice little hit. And unfortunately just a grazing shot, but that's still fine.
Good. We killed everyone. <laughs> that was a fast and pretty furious mission. Unfortunately, only um, two of the enemies captured, so maybe a bit short on the intel department. But the mass explosion was fun. Like pulling the berserk there, uh, shifting him back in time, and then just casually dropping all of the grenades on top of one another. And you can just see boom, boom, boom. Everything's just going, going down. Cool. We even got 20 intel on top of it. So that's 80 intel and 15 alarium. If you've been to Burger Palace, you know we've had the same great taste since the occupation. But how? Our consent decree with the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission is quite clear in its restrictions. And we agree. It was time for a change. So we partnered with Food Life to find the closest match. But not too close. This way we can still give you what you want without breaking the law. Burger Palace. New name, new formula, same great taste. Good, we got two promotions here, guys. Number one, Shelter is finally promoted. Shelter cre uh, creates a psionic clone that can use the psionic ability Relocate and Soul Fire once per mission. Uh, that is a pretty decent ability, I might say. So with that, uh, there is no limit um, to your imagination of how to set up the battlefield. Fracture is uh, definitely a good ability. Keep in mind, um, the clone's ability also tempers with uh, the um, initiative order. We're promoting Torque again, and Torque now gets Poison Spit. That's a good ability. Poison Spit's uh, a, poison out of, um, a blast of poison out of it, poison soul unit in the area, and does a small amount of damage on impact. So that one could even mean... that we do not necessarily need uh, the uh, reflex grip anymore, but still, the reflex grip is good. Um, poison split isn't bad either, but um, against poison immune enemies, uh, the re um, reflex grip helps us to deal normal damage on top of it. So, we got a critical mission here, and we're forced to go there. There's really nothing else that's happening at the moment. And since we're only 10 minutes in, I might as well do that mission, but not before we are using our field operative team. Got another level 3 team going, guys. So that's really good. How about we upgrade and get even more intel? Plus reduction of district unrest. I think that's a helpful option. So, we got ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, level 3 um, upgrades. Now, the only thing that's missing is, and we could actually get there, almost, almost get there, are these two. So... With the necessary intel, I'll keep a bit of intel uh, just for the black market because we don't immediately need to upgrade. But uh, the city is almost fully upgraded, which is great. Uh, we don't want to buy anything, I think. Pretty much uh, said. The masterwork weapons are in are being currently researched, so that's great. And we might as well want to. Uh, go into the rate traffic in meat um, because that's going to give us the next step on our on our mission I think the team was uh, super solid and we can directly dive into it three encounters now this time we're going to see what the mat patch uh, medi patches are worth 
because we can heal in between the encounters and hopefully this is going to go as easy and as smooth as our other encounter. Let's see what this team can do in a longer mission. And we are jumping into the mission. Entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter. That's a bad start because it means we're taking extra damage. They will hit us more often. Let's just charge into it. I would like Torque to be second, Shelter to be third, and Claymore right afterwards. Keep behind me. Oh, a Praetorian, perfect. Well, and a Legionnaire, an Adder, a Dominator, and a Python. You know, I think we're going to mess with the Dominator. I really don't want to deal with him. Really, he survives with one HP. Yeah, let's get the Dominator over here. Thank you. And we got another shotgun, which I think we're going to use for ad the adder. Unfortunately, minimum damage. Good, that uh, is almost dead. Problem is the Praetorian. Hmm. Hitting the Le Legionnaire. Can't really do much against the Praetorian. Too much armor. And just too much everything. But we can take enemies off the table. Praetorian will deal damage once, I assume. We might be able to shrug it off. Yep, perfect. That's good. Time for a face -to -face. Good. Time to deal with the Praetorian. Good. Down. The faces one cannot reach us at the moment, so that's fine. Don't want to use um, Fracture yet. Yeah, let's just use our mind ability, 100% hit. What? We were in range? Okay, so this deals with the Pyth uh, Python. Hitting the faces one. And we are knocking him unconscious. There we go, first encounter done. Minimum damage, might as well use one of our healing kits, because why not? 
looks like this chemical plant is more about experimental batches than mass production. This room is an engineer's dream. At a glance, I see the tools to make high-grade fuel and coolant. Good. Entering through here marks your enemy, uh, marks your units until the end of the encounter. That's equally bad, but hopefully we can scare the enemy. Time for one medipack. All right, we got a trooper and a berserk and another trooper. Might as well start with the trooper. Yep, done deal. And we get the berserk, perfect. On Panic Cobra, we got another trooper. Well, that's only a 4-on-4. Four four. We can win that. Nice. Hitting the trooper. That worked out well. And he's unconscious. Perfect. Okay, in terms of grabbing off the enemy, how about... If we were to move to here... If we were to move to here, that would work. Okay, perfect. I mean, we got a panicked um, cobra, which is not uh, who's not doing anything, and the faceless uh, one is way too far away. <laughs> He's out of tongue reach. Interesting. But a critical hit seals the deal, pretty much. I'll just keep our chain shot for now. Let us see. So, throwing shrapnel. I could detonate that shrapnel. <clears throat> Low on ammo. Cobra is still panicked. Fifty fifty to hit it. That's good. Auto reloader. Alright, that was an easy encounter. Our VIP looks ready to rabbit. Grey Phoenix is prepping a defense. You had me a rabbit. Perfect, breaching in. Last unit through this entrance uh, activates Overwatch after the breach. Yep, that's exactly what we want to do. Axiom, Storms. 
No, he should bash it in. Well. Good enough. So let's wait a second because we might want to pull um, pull him up so that uh, that we can use his special abilities. We still got our once permission um, pull up. Okay, another a dominator face this one. Legionnaire, Paladin, a Berserker, and a Python. That's one down. Yeah, let's go for the Legionnaire. Still a 70% chance to hit this guy. There we go. VIP heading for an exit. Capture if you can. All right. I'll keep the Overwatch and use our team up uh, once it's Torx turn. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Seventy percent on the Dominator. I think we can just do that. Shit. I was hoping that this plus Overwatch would uh, seal the deal. That costed us one action. There is the Overwatch, that's good. Now we're teaming up uh, with Shelter. I think there are no mechanical units here, which is a bummer. But what we can do is we can take care of the Dominator. Just go to sleep. Very nice. Two places at once. There we go. Relocating the Python and hitting the Berserk. Very nice. Good, and thankfully the Python is just right next to us. What? 50%? Are you shitting me? You gotta love hunker down.
Shrapnel, out. All right. That explosion will hit everything. Uh oh, Doc, I wouldn't stand there if I'd be you. Well, sucks being you. Almost dry. Why can I explode that? All right, let's get a bit angry. Ready for Just in case we're being hit. Who wants some? Wired up. Good, time for a reload. The next time we're being hit, we're going to smash something. Yeah, let's just sustain the bind. Good, time to deal with the, pal uh, the Paladin. And by the way, the team is actually doing surprisingly well. I was figuring... But that's often... Uh, I was figuring we would do not so well without... without um, any sort of healer. And specifically, I would... Torque is a very strong character, but I wouldn't have uh, classified any of the other characters like really strong. But seeing them in action, just if you don't have the normal, uh, normal overpowered abilities, um, Shelter does a pretty decent job, to be honest. I mean, his manipulation, as well as all these tools that he brings to the table, he even deals uh, pretty good damage. Um, Axiom. Uh, with uh, the right tool, like with the um, twi uh, shots um, with his shotgun, uh, using his shotgun shots twice, um, definitely deals way more damage uh, than just using his melee attack, which I focused him around that in my first playthrough. So it's really a matter of how you specialize uh, them. Yeah, and Claymore is doing decent damage as well, specifically AoE damage. Good, we got intel and even more intel, Elarium, credits. Nice work. City 31's alien population is safe from Grey Phoenix abductions. Perfect. Special operations completed. We got another 60 intel. You know what we could do? Getting free field teams. That would be awesome. Don't even need the experience. One more round and then our sniper is finally trained as well. A short time ago, Grey Phoenix forced their way into the city starport. If they managed to launch a starship, they could cause all kinds of destruction. True dead. Okay, so let's grab a bit of this here. And a lot of this here. Gosh, we have a lot of intel. And we only got two more upgrades. Nice, we got our training completed. Quick reload is superb. That's really good. Good old 
what I want from you? I say I want you to think for yourself. What if I want to make you feel like you already do? Know why someone wants you to think, and you'll know what they want you to think. Good. We don't need uh, unrest reduction. That's fine. That might be a thing. Getting uh, an item from the scavenger market for free isn't bad. The other option is simply getting credits so that we can buy all of the weapon upgrades. I think we're doing that for now. One more day and then we're done with the assembly. Looking at the city overall, I think we gotta go for XCOM's most wanted. Although this here is a nice chunk of a uh, nice uh, reward, 115. Uh, we might be able to do that and just freeze here. I like the prison break. Yeah, you know what? We're freezing this uh, district, this, uh, the stacks. And whilst we're at it, let's upgrade it. We're still having enough intel um, to buy something from the market. And this Friday we're getting even more Elarium, so that's fine. Now we can fully focus on the mission here. We're almost completely rank 3 within the entire city, which is great. I like it. Could completely reduce the unrest here, or we're saving it because I don't yet want to go and take down Grey Phoenix. Yeah, we're doing mission break in our next uh, episode, guys. I thank you for your attention and for accompanying uh, me in this run. If you like what you've seen, leave a comment or a like down below. That helps the channel and uh, shows interest in the videos. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.